Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfakar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn that uh, how to connect a real time or live Excel file which is on a website to the Microsoft Excel with the help of Power Query. And uh, we will also learn some data transformation tricks uh, with respect to the Power Query in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. So I have opened a website that is related to State Bank of Pakistan, sbp.org.pk and I tried to uh, find out uh, an Excel file which is available on a real-time basis or uploaded on this website. So I went on Google and I typed some keywords, SBP Deposits Province and I got this first link which is called uh, province-wise data of deposits by categories from State Bank of Pakistan. Now this is uh, one of the Excel file. So I downloaded this file and uh, let me show you how it looks like. So this, this workbook contains two worksheets, advances and deposits. And uh, th this list is being uh, diversified and uh, allocated province-wise and their categories. And these are the positions of numbers in millions after every six months. So these are end half yearly outstanding position of deposits and the advances. Now this is basically a report. Okay. And uh, as an Excel user, you know that when if we select this kind of a data and we put it onto a pivot table or we try to create a chart or any other fe good feature of Excel, uh, that particular feature will not give your results up to your expectations because this is a report and we need to understand that most of the excel features work on database rather than on to the reports formatted reports so how we can transform this kind of uh, you can say mis report or, or a general report which is uploaded on the state bank of pakistan website into a data set so that later on we can further do some analytics or customization according to our requirement. Now we will not apply the formula approach because it will take a lot of time efforts and also we need to do our searching and and we don't know how much time it would take to make this report into a data set. So we will use Power Query which is an ETL tool extract transform loading tool which is available that is called Power Query and with just few clicks uh, we will make a database and then afterwards you can use that database in uh, into transforming further pivots do some analysis or create some charts right all right so we will make a live connection so what i did is uh, i just right click on this link and i will click on copy link address so that the hyperlink of this excel file which is available on the real time basis on State Bank of Pakistan website. So I will connect this file. I will not download this file and put it on my local machine, but I will just copy this link and I will go to Microsoft Excel. And in the data tab, you will find uh, get and transform data. This is called Power Query as I am using Microsoft Excel latest version. So this is a group. This is called get and transform data then i will click on get data from other sources and here you will find an option that is called from web so we, we are trying to import data from a web page uh, where we have an excel file uploaded right so i will click on from web and uh, it will show a prompt window so basic and advanced so we are not required to do some advanced settings here but just we need to paste that url of state bank website and I will just press OK. So if you find after pressing OK, if you find a, a window that is called select account type, just like anonymous or windows or organizational account. So you can go with the anonymous, but you can prefer windows or organizational account to be login. So I have already done that setting. And now you can see that Excel Power Query has read that Excel file, which is available on the real time basis on State Bank website, right? Now it shows that this workbook contains uh, two sheets or two tables, basically deposits and advances. So what we will do, we will try to make that deposit report into our data set. 
So I will just select the data. Uh, sorry, select it, selecting the deposit uh, table. If you want to select more than one table from here, so you can check mark on select multiple table items and then you can select uh, more than one right but as for now we are going with the deposits table so i hope you have understood till yet and uh, we will now click on load so when you click on load all the data which contains in the deposits table uh, live from that excel workbook will paste here or if you click on transform data so first it will let you go into the power query editor mode where you can do some transformation as you required and then uh, load that data into the excel sheet so let's first load the data and see what is basically uh, coming from that website on a real time basis all right so it's bringing the deposits table and uh, now you can see that it's saying waiting for sbp.org.pk so depending on the internet connection it's it's uh, making a live connection and bringing the data from that excel file now from this you can understand that you can save this file or database and after six months when the state bank of pakistan will update that excel file you just need to click refresh and that data will be updated so you don't need to uh, run that process of importing that file or other thing again and again so that's a good thing about the power query so it's running a background query we will wait few more seconds and then the data will be coming all right so now we have the data so there are first four rows uh, which says that this is the province wise data of deposits by categories uh, half yearly outstanding position by the banks uh, from the period 2001 till 2019 we have 2020 as well amount are in uh, millions and then we have blank row there are no headers of uh, of all these headers are by default column one two three four as you can see here uh, then you have the the main heading from here raw number seven province region categories and then the time periods written here then we have overall position uh, split into the cat different categories that how these deposits are being maintained in different categories by these banks then we have provinces punjab sindh khyber pakhtunkhwa islamabad gilgil baltistan fata and then azad jammu and kashmir and there are some important notes or you can say assumptions explanatory notes given here in terms of understanding these numbers so what what we got is the is the basically a report which i show you that if you download this report from directly from the state bank website you will have this kind of a view whereas what we did is i hope you understood that we are getting all this data through an excel file which is real time available on the state bank website so we fetch that data from there and now we need to make this report report uh, format data into a database so that in future we can utilize that particular data set into different features of excel and we can make a new report out of that so now to transform this entire report what we are required to do is we will go to the query tab and i will click on edit so that uh, we could enter into a power query editor window where we do all the transformation uh, with that with this particular data all right so now we are in the power query editor window now for the first five rows which are not relevant here for us we need to delete them now this is not like an excel that you select all these rows and click right click and just press delete button uh, this is the power query tool where you need to apply all the available options with respect to the transformation of data from these ribbons so we have some uh, available features so we need to delete first five rows which which are on top so we have an option that is called remove rows and here we will select remove top rows and we will write a number that how many rows we want to delete so we will put five here now the first row ro the first row of this data should be considered as the headers not the row so we need to promote this row as a headers and we have this feature available on the home tab we have a feature that is called use first row as headers so we will click 
and this will make our first draw as a headers simple and easy right now as you can see in the first column of province and region uh, you have the first word which is overall which is the total position of all the provinces and then we have null because these were the blank then we have first province that is Punjab and then we have null what we are required to do is we need to fill this null with respect to every word which which is coming every new every time so what we can do is we will select this column and uh, we will go to the transform tab and we will click on fill so there are two choices either we can do fill downwards or fill upwards so in this situation we need to fill down so i will click on down and very easy very simple it fills all the null cells into the respective uh, word which is coming new every time all right now what we are required to do is we need to make it as a data set so we need to unpivot all these time periods so i will select from june 2001 and i will press the shift key and i will go to june 2020 and i will say in the transform tab i will click on unpivot columns so now you can imagine that what you get and now how you are how it is very easy without using any formulas and with just clicks your data has been transformed from report to a data set and it, it's very easy now you need if you need to rename any column you can just double click and type the word you want for example months here and instead of value we will write deposits or any other name you would like to give uh, if i open this men, uh, drop down menu of months you will find that uh, the december spelling or the pattern is being same from 2001 till 2019 uh, whereas uh, june is being written in two different spellings so if you create some slicers after this data set when you transform it further so it will give you uh, not a clean uh, slicer it will for the june it will give you two different spelling slicers so for that and to make it a standard pattern what we can do is i will just select the months column and i will go to replace values so wherever the full spelling of june is written i will just replace it with j u n short form and i will press ok and remember that all the transformation you do with the data set these are recorded as a step by step and any step you do you do not want you can just click the cross button okay and remember that this specific tool which is the power query generates an m language code which can be seen at any time by going to home click on advanced editor and whatever the clicks you are doing on the back end this m language is being generated okay all right so now if i open this drop down so i can see a similar pattern for the month uh, june as well and for the december as well uh, with the june 19 there is r is written now this might be an exceptional thing uh, in terms of explanatory notes given in the report now after transforming all these things uh, We have made it as a data set now a database from that particular deposit report So after doing all the steps go to the home tab and click on close and load and now Excel will insert a new sheet and uh, That will be a data set See how easy that uh, you can say this report of deposits which is available on a real-time basis on state bank website uh, you make this report or mis report uh, into a database uh, with just few clicks in the power query so right without writing a single formula if you, if, if you start writing formulas or creating other kind of logics it would take a lot of time but i hope that uh, now you know that every analyst every data analyst or business analyst and excel user for transforming the data and to make it more clean uh, you need to learn power query you need to start learning power query i hope you like this technique of uh, connecting the real-time excel file from the website and also some of the tricks with respect to power query thank you